Hello, my name is Matthew Taman, and in this short tutorial, I just want to show you how you can integrate your Joomla website with Twitter Bootstrap. Uh, the, the current Bootstrap version right now is 2.32, and for Joomla is 3.1. So I'm just going to show you some really cool things that you can be able to do. Uh, I've already installed Joomla. If you don't know how to install Joomla, you can watch my other videos. I have a, a complete set. Uh, training video from big for beginners that you know explains everything that you need to uh, know how to edit your website or create one with Joomla. So let's start here. Bob, I went to content and let me go back so I can show you. So I went to content article manager, which got me to this point. Then I click on getting started. Now this is the default page. I just deleted it because I don't be needing that. Uh, the content for it so I'm just gonna you know showing you how to integrate your bootstrap uh, features into your Joomla and the reason why you can do that is because Joomla is the first major CMS platform that integrated uh, to the bootstrap their design their interface is so much cleaner from from before and it's really really basic so let's get started let's say you want to create a button on your website and you have a, a Joomla website so you go to Twitter Bootstrap, uh, you can go to buttons. And if you notice, every button here, they have different colors, you know, info and success and red and inverse. Uh, each button is determined, the color of the button is determined by the class of that button, you know, for the CSS. So all you have to do is to modify the button color, you just have to change the uh, corresponding CSS. So let me demonstrate that. So let's say I want to copy, you know, create this button it's large. So I'm just going to copy these. Into my HTML editor. Save. And I'm just going to save it. Now if I come on the home page and I right click and I reload. Those buttons are right there. So let's say I want to change the size. If you notice, so there are four different sizes: the large, default, small, and mini. So if I want to change the size of, of the button, also change the color of it. What I have to do is I have to go back here. We're going to change both buttons. Where this class for the button here, where it says uh, primary, that's the color for it. So the primary. Let's say I want to change this to success. Or I want to change this log, large button to success. So I just changed that and I want to change the name too to success so I changed that from large button to success and I want to change the size from large to let's say medium all right save right click reload and there you have it and if you notice to the size of that change, but the success, that's how easy it is for you to change the class. Once you change the class, then it automatically change. All right, let's say you wanted to, wanted to do the same thing for this permalink. So you just have to copy the, the code. Paste. Save. Right click. Reload. And there you have the permalinks. So as you can see, it's really basic and simple. And let's say you even want to have some some images options. You copy that. And you know sometimes you want to style your images a little bit different. Maybe you want to you know a rounded corner or a circle. Um, that allows you to do that. Now the reason why it's not showing here because I haven't selected any graphics for it. But once you select some type of graphics for it, then it's going to show up um, accordingly. Based, if you notice here at the source, I don't have anything on the source. So let me find something that I can put on the source so that you can be able to see. All right, so I'm just going to pick anything here. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. I use this. I'll 
Once I come back on the home page, refresh. All right, you can see here there are different sizes. The one I chose before wasn't shown because the background and the size of it, but let me click save this and right click. And as you can see, you have different sizes, I mean different um, shapes for it. And all I did was just to copy and paste the Kozo from Twitter Bootstrap over to uh, the Joomla site. And next, let's see how we're going to do this. <clears throat> okay, real quick, the scaffolding. This is based on the 12 column or 12 span system. Uh, the, the key of this is you want to make sure that the total number of width uh, adds up to 12. So, for example, if you have a page that uh, has a, a span of 12, you want to make sure that the numbers you add up to it totals to 12. So for example, you say there's 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. And 12 plus, you know, 12, or you can just leave it as that. This is, you know, it, it can be complicated, but for the sake, once again, for this tutorial, I just want to show you how, uh, what you can be able to do with these. So let's say I wanted to create a two column uh, content page. I'm just going to copy this code, uh, come back here, uh, let me just edit the, the images, okay, and I am going to put column 1 and column 2. Okay, save, refresh, and there you have column one and column two. But if, if you can see, uh, column two has a lot more room than column one. That's because it's taking the majority of that particular span. All right, let's see what else we have here. I'm just trying to pick uh, the... Uh, Great crumb. There's so many different options that you can choose from for this that is just incredible. All right, let me let me take a look at alerts. You know, sometimes if you notice with most social media websites now, especially like LinkedIn, you sometimes get an alert that says you got to pay attention to this or whatever you know that alert says. And what they've done is they use this this pretty much this framework. And if you want to create an alert for your website, you just, you know, use this code. And I'm just going to, and if you notice, again, once again, I'm just copying and pasting, you know. And that's the beauty of uh, Bootstrap integrated with Joomla. So there you have this alert. And if you click X, you delete it. So if you have an alert, that you want to show up on a particular page, every time a person comes on that page, that alert is going to show up and they can either choose to delete it or just leave it. And the list goes on and on and on for so many things that you can, uh, you know, be able to use this for. So feel free to just, you know, just play with it for a, for a little while. And then from there, you can be able to come up with, you know, you can customize it to your needs. You can uh, pretty much just, you know, just go with it. And that's what I use too for my company's website. Um, I use a lot of Bootstrap because it's so much easier to design and to, to customize. So if you have any questions on how to use this for your Joomla website and uh, maybe you, get, you got stuck or something, please let me know. And I'm also working on a more detailed uh, tutorial how you can pretty much just take a basic Joomla website from the core and just flip it over with, you know, some amazing uh, things that you can do. I really haven't covered JavaScripts in this particular one yet, 
you know, as I said before, there's so many things that you can go over, uh, but I really, and this in itself, there's like a whole new, you know, slew of tools, and it's exciting just looking at these, and the, the tool to bootstrap framework is, is amazing. So if you want to uh, build an awesome website and you don't, you know, maybe you don't have all the skills or whatever, getting started with this framework, if you integrate that with Joomla CMS, then you're on your way to creating a really, really fantastic, uh, fantastic website.